Hello, my friends. Welcome back. And I hope you are ready for our second recorder lesson. This week, we are going to learn four new notes. So let's get started. But first, we need to review just quickly some things that we learned last week when we talked about the basics of playing recorder. First things first, check your posture. Make sure that you are sitting forward in your seat, your back is straight, and your feet are flat on the floor. If you are not sitting with good recorder posture, go ahead and fix your body so you are. When you're ready, press play on the video and we'll move on. All right, now remember, we also talked about breathing last week. I told you to take a piece of tissue in front of your mouth and try to blow gently. You want to push out enough air so that the tissue waves back and forth gently, not too fast. Remember, it is better to blow softly than too hard because that is where we get our squeaks. And remember, our goal is to not have a squeaky recorder. Okay. Now, let's quickly review the parts of the recorder one more time. When you are putting your recorder together for today's lesson, I'm sure you notice that there are still three main parts. The first part, the part that goes closest to your mouth, has a mouthpiece and a window. This whole part we call the head joint. The next part of your recorder is here. We call this the body of your recorder, and it has joint holes. The final part of our recorder is the foot joint, and it shares two sets of double holes. One set goes on the foot joint, and one set goes on the body. I want you to pause the video and practice naming each part of your recorder. When you're ready, press play and we'll move on together. Now let's look at our hands again. You have your left hand, which goes closer to your mouth on the top of the recorder, and your right hand, which goes on the bottom. And we use all but two of our fingers when playing the recorder. The very first finger, the pinky on your left hand, we don't use at all but we will use your ring finger, which we call finger number three, the middle finger, which we call finger number two, your pointer finger, which we call finger number one, and your thumb. But we do not use the thumb on your right hand. You will use your pointer finger, finger number one, your middle finger, finger number two, your ring finger, finger number three, and you will use your pinky on the bottom hand, your right hand. We call that finger number four. And if you don't remember, this is where we will place our fingers. Follow along with me and try to gently curve your finger when you're placing it over the joint hole. You want to use the fattest part of the top of your finger to cover the hole to make sure no air escapes. Be gentle, we don't want to press too hard or our hands will start to hurt. The thumb will go on the back of the recorder where there is one hole all by itself. Your first finger goes over the first joint hole, your second finger goes over the second, and your third finger goes over the third. And that's it for your left hand. Your right hand will go here with finger number one, finger number two, finger number three, and finger number four. Practice gently covering all of those holes and see if you can make sure no air is escaping. When you feel like you have covered up all the joint holes on your recorder, blow gently just like we practiced and you will make the sound low C. It should sound like this. Mm -hmm. 
when you feel like you have mastered low C. We're going to move on together, but pause the video until you're ready. Okay, now it's time to practice some brand new notes. I told you we are going to learn four notes today. The first note we are going to learn is B, A, G. We call these our bag notes. It's pretty easy to remember, huh? And this is where those notes fall on the musical staff. B, A, G. Just like that. In our first lesson, we talked about where to find each note on the musical staff. If you need help with that, go back to our first lesson and watch that part again. And it'll talk about what each line is called and what each space is called. But let's move on to how to play B. B is a very easy note to play. You only need two fingers. Your first finger on your left hand and your thumb. Practice covering up those two holes, curving your fingers gently, and blow gently into the recorder to make the note B. It should sound like this. Practice playing note B until you think you've got it. And when you're ready, press play and we'll move on. Now let's take a look at note A. Note A and note B are very similar. You just need one more finger. So we're going to use finger number one, just like before, but now we're adding finger number two as well as our thumb, just like before. So you're using three fingers, gently cover those joint holes, and practice blowing a steady breath. It should sound like this. When you feel like you have mastered note A, press play and we'll move on. Now let's talk about our third note, note G. Just like the other notes, you're only going to add one more finger. So we're going to have finger number one, just like before, number two. And we're adding our third finger, the last finger we use on our left hand, as well as the thumb hole. So you are using all the fingers we are allowed to use on our left hand. Cover them up gently and blow into the recorder like this. When you feel like you have mastered note G, press play and we'll move on. Now I want you to practice moving in between B, A, and G. Try lifting and lowering your fingers smoothly so that we don't hear any squeaks. When you're ready, press play and we will play our first song. Okay, now let's show what we know. The first song you are going to learn to play is Hot Cross Buns. And this song is great because it only uses three notes, B, A, and G. Now, here's what it looks like on the musical staff, but I'm going to put the letters underneath the notes in case you're not too familiar with reading them yet. This is what they will look like. B, A, G. B, A, G. G, 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 G. A, 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 B, A, G. So when you are playing hot cross buns, it should sound like this. Pretty great, huh? I want you to pause the video 
and practice playing hot cross buns until you feel like you're ready to move on and we will learn our fourth and final note for today. Now let's talk about how to play note D. Your fingers are going to look like this. Second finger is the only finger you're using. It should sound like this. A very high note. Practice using your second finger. Make sure your thumb is not covering the joint hole on the back. And when you feel you're ready, press play and we'll move on. Now we're going to combine what we know with B, A, G, and D to play Mary Had a Little Lamb. Here is what the notes look like. I'll put the letters underneath to make sure that we're ready. B, A, G, A, B, B, B. A, 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 B, D, D. B, A, G, A, B, B, B. B, A, A, B, A, G. Before you try playing this on the recorder, I would like for you to try singing the song first. That helps you get the sounds of the notes in your head so you know you're on the right track when playing the recorder. When you're ready, practice playing the recorder, and when you feel like you've mastered it, we'll move on. While you're playing, it should sound like this. Practice playing and press play when you're ready. So here are the notes you have learned in our lessons so far. You've learned low C, G, A, B, and D. Pause the screen and practice playing these notes one more time. So now it's your turn. This week, I'd like you to practice the songs from today using the notes that we know. Try to make the notes come out smoothly without any squeaks. And I will see you next time. Remember to practice, practice, practice. Goodbye, my friends. I hope you enjoyed.